Hey everybody, my name is Alex with Hey Hardware, and in this video we are going to be installing Docker on Arbion. It is pretty much the same as installing it on Debian, but I did want to make one exclusively for installing it on Arbion. So we will kick it off with jumping over to our terminal, and I'm on Comet Alpha, which is a brand new install of Arbion. And honestly, Docker is always the first thing that I install because I love Docker. So let's do a quick sudo apt update just to make sure everything is good. Shouldn't be anything. And then we will just install some dependencies here. And I'm just following the wiki that I have set up for the CM3588 with Armbian. And I'll link to that in the description of the video. So moving on to the next one, we'll create a directory for our key ring. And then we will download Docker's GPG key. And then we will make sure the permissions are set up correctly. And then finally, well not finally, there's another command after this, but we will add the repository for Docker so that when we run uh, our install command, it can find all the packages, which we'll do now. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I forgot to run sudo apt update um, after this. That long pause there when you run something and it doesn't go exactly as you expected. Um, yeah, don't forget to run sudo apt update. I'm going to have to fin uh, fix the guide because I don't have that there. So well, this is installing. I'm going to jump over to the guide and add in a sudo apt update, or yeah, sudo apt update after. Uh, update repositories. Sudo apt update. There we go. Okay, so faster than I could update the wiki, this installation has completed, and we can um, see if Docker is installed. So sudo docker, I think dash v works, yep, cool. So Docker is installed. There's an optional step, let me bring, go back over to the wiki here. So all the steps are covered in here. I also link to the official uh, installation Docs, which basically have the same commands, but uh, if you're going to be just installing it via the repositories, yeah, you can follow my guide, but it's always good to reference the official docs because I'm just a random dude on the internet. Um, yeah, but yeah, there's one more step where you can add the current user to the Docker group, and this allows you to run the commands without sudo. So instead of having to put sudo docker-v, you can just run docker-v. Uh, if you want, you can do that for security reasons. I don't do that. Uh, I think it's easy to just add sudo to my commands. Not a big deal. Uh, if you do do that, you will have to log out and log back in for the changes to take effect. So that's it. We have Docker installed and we are good to go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.